Good day, James Dean family. This is your bubbly host, H2O Queen. I hope all of you are doing well. Uh, if you guys would like to go ahead and please click on my Twitch link in the description below, that would be much appreciated. I don't have a schedule as of yet. Um, I won't be returning until late August sometime, but I am trying to stream at least once per week. Uh, after this video is recorded, I hope to go live sometime later on today. Uh, no exact time. However, if you also go into my description below, uh, click on my Discord and you'll be able to see all of my uh, live updates, letting you guys know what is happening within my community. So I have been fascinated and enthralled with the paranormal investigation genre for quite a while. Um, I'm not much of a horror uh, gamer myself, but a lot of the paranormal investigation does fall under the horror category, which makes a lot of sense. Um, so there is a new game that has been released that is part of the paranormal investigation and it's called The Hauntings. It is going to be released on October the 22nd and uh, out of all those that have uh, put our names down to be play tested, we have all been gratefully, accept uh, gratefully accepted. Uh, the developer's name is Walker. Uh, they are currently live on Twitch as I recall, which is very exciting. If you would like to go down into the description below and go ahead and uh, give Walker a follow on his Twitch channel, I am sure he would appreciate the support. Uh, so. I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to talk about uh, some more about this game in detail, what is happening. I There isn't a lot involved right now other than just being able to playtest a level with a ghost around. The ghost cannot um, hunt or interact but I can see it animating and doing other things which is what I'm really I'm excited for. So come on in guys, let's get into it and uh, let's see what this game is all about. So there isn't a full screen borderless at the moment, but this is completely fine for a playtest. So it says, welcome to the first alpha playtest of The Hauntings. This is not a complete playtest of all the actual gameplay. This is test. This test is to focus on performance of the Unreal Engine 5 and to try and find a benchmark for the game. Please feel free to walk about the level and check out the environment. Awesome. So we're not just confined to a particular area. So we're going to go in now, we're going to go ahead and host a game. Alright, so we'll go back in again. We're going to ready up and then we're going to start the game. If I get any of my keybinds um, incorrect, I do apologize because I'm still learning um, how to work this game. Everything to pick up is primarily the E key right now and also interact with, which is great. So, oh, here we go. So we've got our torch at the ready. Oh, this is the house. This is really exciting. Oh, that's really cool. So the van here is opening up at both sides. That is fantastic. Oh, I like how we're parked next to this vehicle. It's nice to actually see um, another engine that it isn't Unity used for this. Uh, I'm curious to see if the majority rules that we keep with the Unreal Engine or if we're going elsewhere. Uh, so I don't know how much of this I can actually explore right now, but I have to admit this is extremely cool. Um, there is collision, which is really nice. So there's a rock. I go over the rock. So I like this a lot. I'm not able to go down any further than that. Okay, that is really cool. So we're back to the van. So this is the farmhouse uh, level. Um, before we go in, I'll um, explain to you uh, all the mechanics. So uh, Walker has announced uh, during his uh, live streams and also on his discords as well. Again, make sure you go into discords below, um, into the description below for their discord link. So 
there will be the forest, farmhouse, gold mine, mansion and prison maps. Um, so there's going to be open public and open lobbies um, with the uh, lobby codes in the future. So Walker is currently debating if there'll be large teams of up to eight um, in the future. Um, there is going to be a lot of tweaking involved if that does happen. Um, with there only being four playable classes, um, eight character classes um, in the future may be a little bit difficult um, because there'll be other, otherwise there'll be two people to one class. And oh, you can see the ghost animating. I just saw it out of the corner of my eye. Um, and that might be uh, very difficult, especially if uh, a particular person from that class manages to complete all of their tasks and the other person might get bored or might not be able to do it in time. Um, so classes are the equipment tech, the priest, the demonologist, the psychic, the civilian and the reporter uh, when, the, uh, when the early access is launched. Uh, there will be more planned for post-launch updates and each of these classes have a mental fortitude just like the one we saw back in the van. So if you're a priest uh, class for example you recover faster whereas if you're the civilian role uh, your mental fortitude will not recover as quickly as the other classes which makes sense. Uh, so there's also going to be another mechanic called possession so where the ghosts become a host to your body um, your team has to identify that you are possessed and you will do an exorcism um, you cannot get possessed again however our mental fortitude will be lower and if the ghost does attempt to possess you uh, you will instantly die um, so there there's going to be a lot of um, uncertain news at the moment but there was talk of there being a particular ghost type that will go through walls and falls floors such like a banshee um, but again everything's just talk and undecided as of yet um, ghosts will be able to oh, this is so cool ghosts will flicker lights that are close to it if the lights away from it do not flicker you have a general proximity of where the ghost is and where the hunt is located um, so there is also a technician class and those particular peoples can also um, replace light bulbs if they blew um, if they blew it from the ghost. So that is really cool. Alright, so I'm going to go in. So this door can be a little bit finicky to open. Perhaps so I've right clicked to open. Alright, cool. Alright, so now I'll be able to see the ghost in action which is going to be really cool like I don't know where the ghost is going to be but so far for the best part I have been seeing it in the front of the house which is like really cool we can only interact with a ghost um, we won't be able to actually see it hunt or anything like that but oh okay this is really cool So the ghost can actually go out onto the porch as well, which is really wicked. I just absolutely love the design and animation with this. This is just completely wicked. Oh, the particle dissolving on that is just brilliant. So the ghost is going to uh, pretty much just spawn anywhere in this house. Oh, I just love this. We're going to have a bit of a look around, just have a bit of an explore. So all of these will be patched over in time with actual floorboards. They won't be completely open like this, which is okay. So I think the ghost at the moment is doing all the roaming downstairs, which is fine. But I do love the lighting with this. It's really pretty. I love it how you get close up to a corner as well, and your light and your actual flashlight starts to distort or change. And I, I like just the little simple things like that. Just adds so much feel as well. Is there any other rooms I've missed? 
can't go through wardrobes. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 she's coming towards me. Ah, oh, that is so cool. She's actually come upstairs to me, which is really wicked. Oh, I love that. She did the particle dissolve right on top of me. That is awesome. Um, so I'm not too sure if the ghost is actually um, working uh, near proximity to me or if it's just randomizing. But gosh, I love this. Okay, that is just so cool. Like, Walker has done a really amazing job with this. And apparently there's a bathroom. Ooh, it just dissolved. or oh, it's actually apparated. Hello there. Yeah, that's just really... What a wicked mechanic. I love the environment even more. There's just something about the lighting of this mechanic, which is just brilliant. Here she comes. Uh, it's just fantastic. Oh, so this is downstairs into the... Oh, this is the basement. Okay, this is really cool. Okay, so this is what the basement actually looks like. Oh, this mannequin. Um, so apparently there has been discussion as well on Walker's um, Twitch as well that ghosts will be able... They'll be like ghost mannequins or something like that. I don't know if that's like a form of possession or whatever, but I think that concept alone in itself is just so awesome. I love that a lot. Oh, I just love this. Just taking a few screenshots, just living it up and enjoying it. Um, but yeah, I just really enjoy this. I can't wait for future playtests. Right now, I have really haven't had, um, this is my first time I'm actually playtesting it, and I'm not experiencing any uh, frame drops, uh, there's no really issues with mechanics or the ability of myself to move around, the ghost is freely moving around at will, um, yeah, there's been no difficulties so far, I'm able to get in and out uh, with relative ease. I mean, just enjoying the experience of, yeah, so the ghost is just now, I love how you just went in that room. That is so cool. Oh, it's just wicked. Yeah, because you're just not expecting it when it does happen, but I'm just loving the particleization of the ghost with it spawning in and out like that. I just think that's so nice. And it's nice to see something different aside from it just disappearing and reappearing. I think it's really refreshing and just so good in so many ways. I'm just trying to, you know, see what happens if I enter into certain rooms, if I get teleported elsewhere, and I'm not experiencing that. Oh, that was so cool. I literally just walked in as the ghost just came towards me. That is so cool. See what I mean? Just getting like spooked like that is just wicked. Oh, you can just see her face as well through her hair. That is just brilliant. And there she goes, disappears. Oh boy, I am. Um, what do you guys think so far? Let me know in uh, the description below. I just. I really am enjoying this. This is really cool. So this is, as again, as I was sharing earlier, this is the farmhouse. So you right click to open to swing it, which is pretty cool. I hope uh, all of you enjoyed that playtest of the hauntings. Uh, I hope you're excited as I am. And if you did, please enjoy it. Please give this video a big thumbs up and please smash the subscribe bell for future content. This will not be uh, my last video on this. I'm excited um, to keep up to date uh, with Walker and where the development of this game goes. Uh, so yeah, I uh, make sure that you get your um, name down for the playtest. If you go to Steam and search for The Hauntings, not only can you add it to watch list, but you can also join the playtest, which is really awesome. And this is a really great way to assimilate and see the development of a game. And it's something I've never really had. And I really believe this is pretty much the first paranormal investigation 
game that we've actually been able to walk through uh, the development stages. I don't think there was any for Phasmophobia or the Ghost Hunters Corp. So this is like really exciting and I hope uh, you did enjoy this video and that you're looking forward to the future of The Hauntings. This is your bubbly host, H2O Queen over and out. Peace, love, light, enjoy. Enjoy your day. Take care guys and thank you heaps for watching.